morning. I'm Ben Silverto. I'm here with Bill Hurst at the site of the new Harvey Avenue sewage treatment plant facility expansion. We've been waiting eight years for this to happen, so we're really excited about seeing some dirt move. Now right over here you have the tire cleaner that they installed. First thing they do when they start the job is they put in the erosion control methods so we don't have any sediment downstream on Cook's Run down there. You can see there's a little rim of orange all the way over there against that chain link fence. That's all the silt fence, super silt fence that they put in to protect And there's the more silt fence right down here. And right down over here, that yellow and black log along there, that's called a bio log, okay? And that's a, that's a sock that they put there, and, and that also keeps sediment away from the basin over there. Now, straight ahead of us here is where the plant expansion, I'm not an ex expert on it, but what I understand is this is where the plant expansion is going to go. Right over in this area here, Bill scan from the left <coughs> to the right. Uh, all the way back to that chain link fence behind the uh, John Deere backhoe there and then it'll run over to this chain link fence. If you follow that biolog over there down to the woods all the way down there on the other side is where they're going to do their stream crossing and they have to put in a, uh, a large uh, wet well. There's going to be a pumping station down there and that'll be about 35 feet deep and they'll put in a pump there and all the sewage from the town will collect there and be pumped back up to this new facility here. Okay which I might add has been designed to criteria which as I understand it hasn't even been met yet in Pennsylvania. The water's so pure that Bill says he's going to drink it when he's done. <laughs> but I'm not up for that myself. So we'll come back here every couple of days and take another picture and follow the progress of this. But I'm willing to bet you that while it took about seven years of planning, fighting, lawsuits, permits and what have you to get it approved, that these fellows that are going to build it, they really know what they're doing. I bet you they have 15 months to build it, and I'll bet you they beat that time handily, which is amazing. Seven years of planning and 15 months of construction. That's sort of... It's our know. government at work. That's our government at work. That's <laughs> our society at work, not our government. That's yeah, just all of it. So. All right, we'll see. These are blue muffin viburnum, has white flowers in the spring, and a deep blue berry in the fall. A very easy to grow viburnum, doesn't get too large, nice multi-stem shrub, can grow under shade of other trees, even walnut trees. So it's a very durable, native viburnum that's easy to grow. We have lots of them here at Highland Hill Farm as well as other trees, plants, and shrubs for you to come look at. Give us a call at 215-651-8329. That's Winterberry Holly. This is Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. These Leland cypresses here are about four foot high, some of them a little bit higher. And next to them are green giants and over here are emerald greens. These are delivered and planted at your location for screening purposes for $40 each, including a drip water kit, which you will see in the next sequence on this video. These trees are easy to plant. The emerald greens are planted three feet apart. The green giants and the Leland cypresses are planted approximately five to six feet apart, or maybe even further apart. These trees are fast growing, easy to grow buffers for screens and barriers. They can give you great noise control. The Leland's and the Green Giants are deer resistant. The Emerald Greens are not deer resistant. But all these trees are easy to grow in full sunlight. You can have some shade for the Emeralds, but not much. You need to have full sun for, for best results for the Emerald Green. The Green Giant and the Leland Cypresses can take some shade. Again, the Leland's and the Green Giants are deer resistant. The Emerald Greens are not. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. These are $40 delivered, installed with a drip kit. The drip kit is free when you order a bunch of these trees. We, we travel all over the East Coast from Boston to Nashville. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. We are not going to run out of three-foot hemlocks. It looks like about 2,000 in this field. So just give us a call at 215-651-8329. We can dig a bunch of these for you. They're really nicely trimmed. Give us a call, 215-651-8329.
These are green giant arborvitas. These are our three to four foot green giant arborvitas that we deliver and plant all throughout the East Coast. Again, a good plant for a border. Can be planted with other items to uh, give a mixed hedge effect. So it's not all like soldiers in a... This is Nandina. Give us a call, 215-651-8329. We have plenty of them here. Real nice evergreen. Only gets to be about five, six feet. These are nice heavy plants. These are green velvet boxwoods. These are about 36 inches. You can see down there we have quite a few more of them. So give us a call at 215-651-8329.